Well, this could be your new go-to dessert for springtime. Jill Melton is here from Edible Nashville Magazine with the Tennessee Strawberry Tart that's going to be in the cover of their May-June edition. It looks absolutely mouthwatering. It's kind of a rustic tart, isn't it? It is. You could also call it a galette. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's very peasant-y. Um, and it's also super easy. Yeah. So we start with the pastry crust, mm -hmm. right? You can obviously use one already made from the store, but mm -hmm. it's super easy to make them. I just whirled this in flour, butter, a little uh, salt and sugar in the food processor, mm -hmm. kind of get it together in a ball and roll it out. So it's not a complicated pastry at all? No, it's not complicated. With the food processor, it's super easy. You can do it with your fingers, but that makes it super quick. Okay. And the good thing about this is you kind of want it to look a little freeform, mm -hmm. so the circle you roll it out into doesn't have to be like perfect either. You can make them big, small. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have you add uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay, and what we have in here already is strawberries. We have two cups of strawberries. Mm -hmm. I added a few raspberries because oh, they nice. looked really good. The okay. good thing about this is you could even add blueberries. Oh, I almost forgot. We've got some rhubarb here. Wow. Rhubarb is actually in season now. If you don't know what it looks like, it is a big leafy thing. It looks mm -hmm. a little bit like Swiss chard. And so if you're putting it in a sweet dish, um, you're actually just going to use the stems. Exactly. You what do you the do with the, with the greens? You know what? The greens you actually put in, throw away, actually, because oh. rhubarb greens, I believe, can be poisonous. So I'm not is even right? sure you'd want to put them in your compost. Okay. One of the very few greens that you can't use. Rhubarb is super, super tart, so it's typically combined with a strawberry kind of thing. That's mm -hmm. why you see it in strawberry pies. Um, so we just put a little bit in there. Okay. And then we're going to put two tablespoons of cornstarch, which as the juices kind of start to come out of the fruit, this is just going to kind of thicken it up into a nice syrup. Nice. And then we have turbinado sugar. You can use regular white sugar, mm -hmm. but we just kind of like the turbinado. It's got a little more texture and a little kind of caramely taste to it. Nice. And then as you're stirring that, I'm just putting a pinch of sea salt in there because actually sea salt brings out um, the sweet taste of berries as well and it just kind of provides that nice sweet salty thing. Yeah, that seems a little counterintuitive to most people, but, yeah. but salt does bring out the flavor even in sweet things, doesn't it? It does. You know how people eat watermelon with salt on right. it, so that the watermelon tastes uh, a little bit sweeter. Okay, right in the yep. middle? We're just going to dump it right in the middle. And I notice you've used parchment pa uh, paper there yeah. on your baking sheet. Right. And I rolled the pastry out on the parchment, put it on the baking sheet. I floured it really well. Okay. Um, and then you can, you can bake it, unlike the plastic wrap where um, you, right. don't, you don't want to do that. So then what we're going to do is just kind of fold up. You just fold it around. Just huh? fold it around. Um, now what can happen is some of the juices can kind of... Um, Oh, excellent fold That's there. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> I and like some that. of the juices can sometimes run out and we have a little break in the crust and whatnot, but it's it's perfectly fine. It doesn't just matter. Makes it kind of, no. Yeah. It's uh it's fine. Now you don't want to combine the sugar, the cornstarch with your berries. You want to do that right before you make it. Because okay. if you do it too soon, they will water out. I and see. then you'll have a watery mess there. And so how long do we bake? We bake this at three fifty for about thirty five to forty minutes. Yeah, nice. and then also I like to add um, a little bit of the turbinado sugar just on the top there, and it kind of makes it glisten a little bit. And that you know, beautiful. aged balsamic vinegar would be good drizzled over that too. Oh, that would be good. What yeah. a great dessert. So that's going to be on your cover. What else can we expect in the May June issue? Oh gosh, there is lots of great seasonal stuff. Um, we have a story on the farmers. We have a CSA story. Um, we have a story on delivering CSAs on bicycles. Oh, fun. Yeah. Um, we have lots of things like that coming up. We have a lot of desserts mm -hmm. um, and, and a lot of fresh things. And all the things that are things. seasonal and fresh. That's what I love yeah. about your magazine yeah. is whatever is in the stores, in the farmer's markets, right. on the farms right now, right. we can be cooking with them and enjoying them. Yeah. And the strawberries are going to be in season a little early this year. So May 7th, there's a Strawberry Jubilee, big strawberry festival at the farmer's market. Cool. And we'll be doing some cooking down there as well. Great. So you'll want to have this recipe in time for that. This looks like a really good one. Thanks so much, Jill. Thank you. All right. You'll find today's recipe online in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. And look for more great recipes and articles in the May-June edition of Edible Nashville on newsstands on May 1st.